we're continuing our live coverage here at the HP Technology Forum and Expo. Getting uh, late in the, late in the day here. We got just a we're hour almost less done. than an hour. Almost <laughs> done. Gary Stuter is with us. He is the uh, vice president of marketing for uh, CMS CMS products. CMSproducts.com. CMS and I have to tell you, we covered just covered the CMS Expo, but that's content <laughs> management systems, which is not what we're talking not about. Us. Uh, not what we're talking about right uh, right now. But what is it that you that you guys do? Well, we've really got two. Uh, strategic product lines. One of them is our backup and restore software called Bounce Back. Mm -hmm. And the latest innovation with that is the ability to do a complete system backup and start your system from the USB drive, okay. from an external okay, USB now, drive. Okay, just to position things, we're, we're on, on the client side, client we're side. talking about individual laptops. Client uh, side and small server. And small, and small servers. Uh, okay. Microsoft uh, Foundation Server, our small business server. Mm -hmm. So, so you've been around for a number of years, your company. Uh, CMS has been in business since the early 80s. Uh, the current management bought the company out in 97. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we were talking a little bit about, uh, about netbooks and what a revolution uh, that's been, uh, uh, $300. Uh, I love who, netbooks. Who would have thought? Who would have I, thought? I carry one myself everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. uh, the price point is right. It's got enough power for a user like me. Okay. And. Uh, it's light, it's got great battery life, so I, I see everywhere that it's projected to be one of the fastest growing areas of the market. So that's the upside. That's what's, the upside. what's the downside? Well, the downside is that because it is so mobile that it can be subject to more shock and vibration, so you could have more problems with your disk drive. Right, right. So you've got a new product that addresses... Uh, we do. Uh, we are going to be introducing in July a, a version of the Bounce Back software called Bounce Back Mobile. And the real key to Bounce Back Mobile is that it allows you to take and back a netbook up, or a yeah. notebook for that matter, mm -hmm. to a thumb drive, a high capacity thumb drive, mm -hmm. 8, 16, right. 32 right. gigabytes. And um, because, you know, our way of looking at it is netbooks, people carry them because they're small. Right, right. Well, carrying a larger disk drive around kind of goes <laughs> against the grain of that. It defeats the whole so, purpose. Uh, we think this ability to back up to a, a thumb drive right. and then able to start your system from there in the event of a failure and recover your system from there if you have to replace the drive mm -hmm. is going to be a very uh, a very interesting thing in the marketplace right, right. to go along with that. So, so how does that relate then to a little bit larger systems than netbooks with, well, with your product? Well, what we've done is because thumb drives are inherently smaller than disk drives, mm -hmm. uh, what we're doing is we're building into bounce back a filter. Um, if you're going on a business trip, do you really need to carry with you or do you really need to back up and have available in an emergency your 30 gigabytes of YouTube video? Probably not. So we're putting a filter into the installation process and what that filter will allow you to do is by location or by file type exclude those from the backup set. Okay. So that when, for instance, if we excluded all AVI Yes. Uh, yes. When we did the backup over to this smaller thumb drive, then you wouldn't, it wouldn't actually move those files over. Mm -hmm. Now, but, if you had individual you ones, you could drag and drop them. Right, but, but then conversely, if it happened to be in a different folder, it, it, it's not like enabling which folder to save and which folder right. not to save. Right. You can do that by right. file, by type, file give, type. gives right. you a lot of flexibility Absolutely. with that. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. You, you also have encryption products. We do. We've uh, been doing a lot of work in the government space. Uh, you know, we don't see a big demand for encryption in the consumer side of the market yet, but we do see an awful lot of it. People in the, the corporate and government world are really being inundated with a lot of rules and regulations having to do with the loss of personal or sensitive data. Right. right. So we've got a product called CE Secure. There are several different variations of it, including full disk encryption. Mm -hmm. And we're currently in the process of submitting it through the what's called yeah. FIPS 140. Is, is is your solution a, a hardware key based? Uh, it's a software. A software, software, system. software system. And one of the nice things about it is is that in our approach, uh, we can give them the ability to do two, two prong uh, authentication mm -hmm. where it takes two passwords and we also have the ability to add an admin password, actually two admin passwords to it. So if you distributed something to one of your employees that's encrypted and he leaves the company and he won't give you the, the key to that. You can't physically get the... We can, you, you can send that out to him and you have that admin password in there 
Okay. That your IT group or your uh, so, corporate security so group can open. So it's password and nice uh, it's name a back for backdoor. Door. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to use it, but right. it's, it's very it important there. to a lot of the corporate guys because mm -hmm. they want to maintain control over the data that might be in that sure. that drive. Sure. I was surprised that you said it wasn't of interest, as much of interest in the private sector because of uh, privacy issues and uh, HIPAA and, and yeah. all, all the regulation well, that's attached to that. What I meant was the consumer space. The, oh, the, the, the pure home, the pure pure home, use. The pure home yes. user. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of surprised at that too because I know I've, I've used our product to create a lot of little vaults on my home computer because I've got kids and grandkids that are right. over all the time. In my bank records, I don't really want them looking mm -hmm. through that. And mm -hmm. Sure. So I'm able to create these different vaults and put it in there and you open it and close it like a virtual drive. But I heard an interesting thing from a, a person I did an interview with at uh, Tom's Hardware. Uh -huh. And he said, well, I think the reason that it hasn't caught on is because people like to feel safe in their home. They don't want to believe something bad is going to happen, Could happen inside yeah. their home. Yeah. And I think he's got a certain point to it. It's like a, th a, a burglar alarm. Mm -hmm. You know, most people don't get a burglar alarm until after they've been robbed. Mm, yeah, yeah. Fire, smoke alarm is different. Everybody, it's mandated. Sure, So, sure. just a, an observation. I'm sure it will get there. I'm sure encryption will get there. But it also is going to have to be a lot easier than it has been in the past. So, you guys have a big presence then at CES, or are you? Yeah, we were in the uh, USB uh, area right. at C CES. Okay. And uh, while we don't sell into retail right now, we do really... Uh, keep a close eye on that area because sure. there's uh, there's a lot of things coming through there that have relevance because ultimately even your corporate and your government user, he is a consumer. Yeah, sure. What, uh, you talked about netbooks. What else do you see as uh, well lining up as a, as a winner, potentially? Uh, solid state. Solid state drives. Yeah, solid state drives. I think that certainly anything that's mobile, you know, in a few years is going to be um, is going to be moving in that direction. I think you're going to find, I've got a lot of close ties at Western Digital, and they just bought Silicon Systems, which is a okay. maker yes. of solid state two and a half inch uh, format disk drives, mm -hmm. or uh, solid SSD drives. And uh, and I think that's really, if you look at it, the big guys like that, or they're going to have to become storage companies, not hard drive companies. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a place for a hard drive. It's huge storage. I mean, we're, right, right. we're two terabytes now. Yeah, oh, know, exactly. Two ter at any and, consumer store, and, you and can go consumer. in there and, and pull out your Visa card. Ter and, terabyte external for ninety nine bucks in the yeah. store. I mean, that's just phenomenal. Yeah. Well, we actually ended up uh, uh, had had a drive to fail, and so we needed a video scratch disk. And yeah. uh, I, I did didn't write for the terabyte, yeah. but you know, to me, the idea of five hundred yeah. megs uh, or five hundred <laughs> gigs yeah. in, in a drive is. Yeah. I'm still it, trying to get my brain around it, that. It takes a lot to fill it up. And it that, does. Yeah. yeah it, it, bigger it, is better, they say. So uh, indeed, and 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 then the other thing is, it's it's hardly worth your trouble to go in and, and erase files. Well, uh, and that's true. And there's another element to a hard drive. You know, if you fill up a hard drive, it slows down the performance mm -hmm. simply mm -hmm. because of the way the data is sp spaced around yes. it. So if you've got a terabyte drive and you've only got two hundred gigabytes on it, uh -huh. you can still have really good performance. Sure. If you get 800 gigabytes, it does slow down the performance. Yes. Yeah. Different, different story. Yeah. So you're getting ready for a drive here this afternoon. I am. I'm yeah, going you're home. All, you're all dressed for it, I'm going home. Go. And, uh, I got my road forward. clothes on. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Gary, it's been a real pleasure <laughs> well, to chat with you. thank you very you. much. I enjoyed and, it. Uh, uh, we'll go ahead and, and wish wish you well, and maybe we'll, we'll see you at the next uh, HP Tech Oh, no, you certainly will. Hope so. Thank you.